Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to our channel. I hope you're all doing well. So fun video today. I had a friend of mine come over on Tuesday to pull blood on all the goats so we can do bio screening, I think it's called. Annual blood test, uh, just to make sure everybody is looking good. The dogs are like causing havoc in the house and Waylon is sleeping. I'm very upset about it. Anyway, so yeah, so we're gonna do all that. Uh, well, we did all that and then and we pulled fecals on everybody, so I am gonna run some fecal tests and show you guys how I do that. Super simple. And see who we need to deworm, who we can hold off on. And I'm gonna take some notes so I have an idea of what we're doing. So yeah, uh, let's, let's head over to Tuesday and I'll show you guys what we got up to. Okay, so what was supposed to be my very productive afternoon has plummeted into child won't sleep because dogs woke him up as soon as I walked outside. Um, so yeah, so still planning on reading fecals. He's currently, let me just show you what this child is doing. Waylon, there's not a sand pit. I'm, I'm just, gonna let it happen because he's not touching me <laughs> well amongst all of the other things that I'm doing today Rain and Mufasa have been a little funny they're not just they're stuck they bred so we got pups coming are you guys stuck together so for those of you that don't know this is what happens when dogs have bred, they get stuck together. And once his swelling decreases, they are, we count, we count down breeding day, but we just gotta let them be stuck until that happens. Good job, guys surprises me because I didn't think she was in heat and she might be in a very early heat so this is probably going to happen a couple more times um but we got puppies coming at Christmas back to what the video is actually about so here is me and my friend Kat uh, we used to work in a veterinary clinic together so we both have a good idea on how to draw blood and I asked her to come and help me do blood tests on everybody and relatively easy to get fecal samples you just lube up and go in there and pull out a sample and pop it in a tube. So we pulled blood on everybody. Waylon was there the whole time because he was supposed to be napping but refused to take a nap so he was just causing chaos and there he is playing with the light and doing his thing. But yeah, this was this took us about an hour and a half and it was relatively smooth. I'm pretty surprised on how well it went. But Everybody got their blood taken, everybody got their poop done, and Lucy was my biggest concern, and she was actually pretty good, so that's it. So then after that, the whole reason why Cat came over was because we were going to try and trim Pig's tusk. He has one tusk on the side of his face that needs to be trimmed. It's so long. And I got a Dremel, so we were like, okay, we're going to flip him over. And as you can see here, Kat is like, okay, so how are we going to do this? And I was super nervous. I've been putting this off for a long time, but see us flip him over. This is quite amusing. Ready? Good boy. Good boy. Oh, shit. So as you can see, I opted to abort mission. He squealed, I panicked, and I was like, yeah, no, we're not going to do this. So we're going to find a professional that knows what they're doing and see if they can do it for us. Okay, so we're a couple days after drawing blood and doing all that stuff, and now I need to read fecals. So 
I started reading some last night and there's a wasp in my house. Um, yeah, I started, oh my God, stop following me. I started reading some last night and I wasn't videoing it and I thought I'm just gonna hold off and wait and make sure that I get some of this on video. So I'm gonna get all my stuff out and show you guys how I read fecals. Disclaimer, I am not a professional. I worked in a veterinary clinic. I've done some stuff with microscopes, so I know a little bit about it. I know enough to read my own fecals. So that's what we're gonna do. And um, like I say, not a professional. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. So yeah, I'm gonna set all my stuff up and show you guys what it is that I do. Waylon is waking up from his nap, so we may get cut short or he may be joining us. Okay, so I have all my poops here and I kept them in the fridge for a day or so. Um, and then I have my slides, my cover slips, and my notepad. So my notepad, this is like my trusty notepad that has all things goat. Um, so these are my, I just wrote down fecals, the boys and for the girls. Um, the Fomancha score. I think I talked about this in another video and I will put that up here, what the Fomacha score is. It's basically like their um, mucous membrane, the color of the mucous membrane. So Willie hasn't been looking too hot and he's got a pretty low Fomacha score. So I want to keep a note of that. Um, the boys, I read their fecals yesterday and all of them have coccidia. That's kind of normal for goats. Goats do tend to especially adult goats tend to pick up coccidia, but they're, they it isn't as, as effective in an adult goat as it is in a kid. Now, Willie is maybe like eight months old now, but he's pretty small and I've been watching him. He's been, he's had a lot of things go on in his life <laughs> since for the last eight months, but he's got like a moderate to severe amount of coccidia. So I'm I have some coccidia medication I'm going to give him and I've been doing some treatments on him but we're gonna do the results on all the other girls today and then I'm going to go out there and just check their formanches. I've been looking but I look and I've looked at so many eyeballs over the last like two days that I've forgotten what I'm looking at. So let me show you guys how I set up my fecals. Okay so Everything in my baggie, so everything is labeled, so I know whose is whose. So I got Snickerdoodles, I got Snickers, I got Lucy, Milky Way, Oreo, Molly. I already read Ethel's, and I still need to get poop on Lily. So I get all these out. And this is just sugar water. Let me just top everybody up. Okay, then I get my cover slips. So when I used to work in the veterinary clinic, we would do this, but then we would put them in a centrifuge, which is like a super fast spinny thing. Um, I do not have a centrifuge. And when I did this with my livestock vet, I went to a like a little evening course. I think I'm gonna need to get more water. She said, you don't need to have a centrifuge. So this is what I'm doing. So now I have all of these guys with cover slips on. I'm going to let them wait 10 minutes. I'm going to set a timer and then I'm going to take them over to the microscope and we're going to look at them. And I'm going to try and show you guys. I'm never really good at this, but I'll try and show you what I'm looking at down the microscope. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and I am going to set these up and then look at them at the microscope. Waylon is awake but playing in his room so we're gonna see how long he stays like that <laughs> So 
that. Like I say, not very good. But that guy right there, that's a worm. It's actually a worm egg. But let's see. These guys over here, that little double one, also a worm. I don't know why that keeps going in and out. But there's your worms. So in order for me to figure out what they are, to me, they look like they may be barber pole, but I'm going to zoom in. So at the moment I'm on a 10x and I'm going to go to a 40x. And this is where things get a little crazy. We got that good at a 40x. Give me a sec. Okay. So that guy there looks like it's a barber pole. Come on. So pretty typical the goats are going to have parasites. The amount of parasites they have can differ. So a load of parasites is, I don't have like a, the ability to count. Like, I mean, I do, I just go through and count how many are in there, but I have a little more research to do on that. But I know that there's parasites in there. I'm going to put down what I think is normal, average, moderate, severe. And then I'm going to go and check their eye colors. And that's going to give me a better idea of whether I want to deworm them or hold off for a little bit. Then is waking up, so I have to. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Do you have good sleep? Yeah. You ready to get up? So, I forgot where I was at, but looking at Oreo's poop.